How's it going YouTube? Chris here at my home theater. Got a brand new video for you today. Got kind of a different video for you. Uh, I announced here a while back that I was buying a movie uh, to do a head-to-head -head comparison on DTS X and Dolby Atmos. Uh, this is the only movie that I know of that has both soundtracks. Now it is not an American movie, so it's not your mainstream uh, Disney, Warner Brothers, Sony, or anything like that. It is a movie from South Korea, and it's called Believer. And uh, we'll kind of show you what it looks like here. This is a actual a steel book, and on the back it says to catch the devil, trust the sinner. And that's what it looks like on the back. Really nice steel book. And I bought this off eBay for about 60 something dollars. And uh, what I didn't know is this is a limited edition I mean, I'm in the U.S., so I didn't know, and I don't keep up with this kind of stuff, but it's uh, this is like number 192 out of 400. So it's actually, you know, pretty collectible, I guess. I mean, I don't collect overseas stuff, but as you look on the inside, it's pre pretty nice. So you got a, a Blu-ray disc here, this DTS HD Master. Then you have another disc, this Blu-ray, and that's your special features. You kind of see it there. And you open it up, and you got another disc here that is a Blu-ray. It's DTS-X. And I'm not sure if it's Atmos. I can't remember. But the next disc that I actually have in that I'm looking at, I should have had it out for here. But it is actually a 4K UHD, and it has DTS and DTS-X and Dolby Atmos on the same disc. So I was really excited about that, and that's what I used in the video uh, I watched the whole movie in DTSX, so then I went back and watched scenes in uh, Adobe Atmos and watched some of the movie in Adobe Atmos, and uh, I'll give you my thoughts on it, and uh, we'll we'll get into that in uh, just a few minutes. But uh, I was really excited to be able to get this movie, and uh, hopefully uh, by the end of the film, you know, at the end of the video, that we can. Uh, Determine which one is better. Now, like I said, now I know this is not a, a mainstream movie. Uh, this was actually done overseas in South Korea. It's filmed in South Korea. And uh, so I'm assuming they the one that done the soundtrack mix. So uh, we, we will talk about that after these uh, next couple of video clips. Okay, guys, let's do a little head-to-head -head comparison here. We're going to play this scene. This lady's about to walk up to this building, and somebody set a bomb on it. It's going to explode. And I'm going to play the scene in DTS-X first. Now, I've got my sound level meter here, right here, and I got it set on 120 dBs. Now, we're going to see at the same volume on the DTS-X, we'll play the Dolby Atmos track right after this. So let's give this a whirl, and let's see how this thing goes. I know that was hard to hear on this phone, but that was about 115 dBs from the best I can tell from this analog uh, meter here. And I'm telling you, it was intense in this room. So I'll uh, let's go, I'll reset this thing and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Got it set up on Adobe Atmos. And uh, let me exit this out. And we'll play the exact same scene, same volume, same distance, and we'll see how this, this soundtrack performs up against the DTSX. was very hard to tell it seemed to be deeper 
the Dolby Atmos than the DTS-X, and it looked like it may have hit one to one and a half, maybe even two dBs higher on, on that scene with the explosion. Now that is just unreal because I always back in the day, the DTS-X or the DTS, to me, always had deeper bass than, than any of the Dolby, uh, Dolby Digital, uh, Dolby Digital EX, Surround EX, or whatever. It's, it's always the DTS seem to have, you know, more bass response. Now, the DTS X did have good bass response, but it seemed that the Dolby Atmos was louder. So, we'll, we'll check into this thing. We'll do a couple more scenes, and uh, we'll be right back with that. Okay, guys, got another scene here. We're going to play this in Dolby Atmos, and uh, we're gonna see how this plays out. We'll check it out right now. as we can see it hit about 114 on that scene on Dolby Atmos so we'll uh, back this thing up and we'll do a, a test on the DTSX now okay guys we're back we're gonna do this in DTSX we're gonna check this scene out and see how it performs uh, against the uh, Dolby Atmos so here we go <laughs> I am just in total shock that it seems that the Dolby Atmos is outperforming the DTSX track. That that is just not what I expected. Now I know. Listen, it is this is a different kind of movie. It's an overseas movie. It's not a you know mainstream like a Marvel movie or a DC movie or anything like that. And I know everybody mixes stuff different, but it's DTSX. Dolby Atmos, so I, I I am in shock. Honestly, I'm in shock right now that it seems that the Dolby Atmos has a lower bass response or a higher bass response, however you want to say it. It's uh, it's louder than the DTS X, uh, and we'll cover more in just a few minutes. We'll we'll try to check a couple more scenes on explosions and maybe some gunfights and. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to wrap this thing up here. Okay, somewhere. guys, so let's talk about this film that we uh, just covered in those, kind of, you know, kind of four video clips. I did two clips of explosions, and, uh, you know, you can kind of see what, you know, the sound level meter was showing. The sound level meter was showing that the Dolby Atmos actually had, you know, a, a more sound. Now, whether it, was, whether it was more clear or not, it had, it definitely had a more impact of bass than what the DTS-X and I would have re I really would have thought the opposite because uh, DTS-X I keep saying DTS-X DTS, DTS in general uh, as a rule of thumb in my opinion has always been the, the superior soundtrack I know all the movie manufacturers you go back and look at your older movies most of them have uh, DTS HD master soundtracks uh, and that, that's been their main track. 
DTS has always been the best. And I ain't saying they ain't the best now. And this, this is a totally different movie here. So for this movie, I would say that the Atmos is superior. Now, let me break it down for you. Uh, when you when you watch the, this this particular movie, uh, there's not a a whole lot of even surround effects, sound effects. Uh, you don't get a whole lot, very very little, on your bottom surround speakers. On your Atmos speakers, I ain't heard anything. And that was with DTSX and Dolby Atmos. So really, I hate to even even use this movie as a comparison, but it's the only movie that I've ever seen that had both soundtracks. Even though there, there's no Atmos effects, no I, not that I could hear. If it was, it was very, 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 very little. I mean, I stood up and I tried to listen, and I, I really couldn't hear anything. But what what I do hear is the front stage, your LCR. And your subwoofers, man, they were very active throughout the whole movie on both soundtracks. And to me, the soundtracks were about equal as far as dialogue and how it sounded, uh, the expanse of the sound stage, uh, the panning from left and right, uh, gunfire and stuff like that. They, they all sounded very, 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 very similar. And both sounded very, almost equal. But when the explosions happened, it's where the Atmos actually had an edge over the DTSX. And I was, to me, I was shocked. As I, as I listened to both of them, I, I kind of thought the Atmos had an edge, but I wasn't sure until I put that sound level meter on it. And it was just a slight edge. Sounded like it went a little deeper. Now, I probably could use, uh, I don't know if I can use REW or anything like that to kind of test, see what the frequency response is. And I might could, but I don't have my laptop or computer or anything in here right now. So, but just going by sound level, it seemed like the Atmos had an edge on this. So like I said, I was, I was completely shocked. I was completely taken back. Uh, as far as everything else, it seemed to be about equal. Now I wish some of these movie manufacturers would really I mean, I would love to hear, let's just throw it out there, uh, The Hobbit that's coming out. The Hobbit's coming out on 4K, I think December 1st, Lord of the Rings, December 1st. Man, it would love to, I would love to have both soundtracks on there. DTSX, Dolby Atmos, uh, really the, the C. I mean, those movies have, you know, a lot of surround effects, a lot of, you know, ambient sounds. Uh, I would love to hear something like that in, in, in both soundtracks and i'll be on the lookout now now guys y'all know me i'm a movie collector i probably bought 10 15 movies in the past couple of weeks uh, my collection is getting huge now and i've got to figure out some different storage uh but I, like i say, i saw this movie uh there was a facebook post uh, i'm on a bunch of groups on facebook uh, so i saw this on there and that's how I know that it had both soundtracks. So I went, immediately went to eBay, found it. Some were really expensive. And I bought this for about 60 or so dollars. I think I had a, a eBay books and discount, stuff like that. So I think I paid like close to 61 bucks for it by the time you had taxes and, and the shipping from South Korea. And uh, actually, I, I want to say I did get this movie in about two two and a half weeks and it was supposed to be here before November the 19th and I ordered it like two and a half weeks ago so I was really excited to get it that fast and uh, that, that was a good job on that but uh anyway as far as this movie goes uh I mean I, I, I think they're they're pretty close uh DTSX Dolby Atmos uh but as far as explosions and and, and volume I, the, the Atmos actually has an edge it's just a slight edge but it's an edge so uh i don't know guys I, I i was totally shocked about that and i'm sure there's other ways of testing it but that's just how i test it listening position with an spl meter and just played a few scenes and and just from you know listening to the movie and like i said they perform equally but the atmos had a, a edge on the explosions and the bass and all that so like i say taking back I'm taken back from that. 
Uh, but that, but it is what it is. That's how they mix the film. The Atmos had an edge. So uh, in this film, I'm gonna say Atmos is a little, little more superior than the DTS track. But, uh, that's how it is. Well, guys, I'm telling you, uh, we are rapidly approaching thousand subscribers. I think I'm 889 as of today, right now. Really excited about that. Thank, thank you guys for the new subscribers adding on. Uh, man, I'm looking forward to giving away this you mic. Hey, I might give it away before the end of November. That'd be awesome. And uh, so let, let, let's keep this thing going. A thousand subscribers by the end of November, hopefully. First of December. Man, let's, 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 let's I'm, I want to go out at the end of this year with a bang. It's been a tough year. It's been a tough year for everybody with all this COVID and all this kind of stuff. Man, I just, I want this year to end out with a great bang. So, uh, guys, y'all have a good night. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm going to mention the Patreon. It's totally up, y'all. If y'all want to want to subscribe to that, it's down in the description. And uh, like I said, pat like, subscribe, share uh, share my channel, and help me out. And, uh, man, I'm telling you, I love you guys. Thank y'all for tuning in, and we'll see you again real soon.